Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss the problem. Vika and her friends from the latest course course is round 885. So let's go through the problem first. Vika and her friends went shopping in a mall, which can be represented as a rectangular grid of rooms with side sides of length n and n. Each room has coordinates a comma b, and both a and b uh, can be from one to n. And B can be from 1 to N. Thus, we call a hall with coordinate C, D a neighbor for it if the absolute difference of A minus C plus B minus D equals to 1. Means uh, the coordinate is uh, adjacent to the uh, another coordinate, then this, is, uh, this will be possible. And uh, ahead of ambiguity as on talks, Vika decided to sneak away no unnoticed. Uh, but since she hasn't uh, had a chance to visit one of the shops yet, she does not want to leave the mall. After a while, her friend noticed Vika's disappearance and started looking for her. Currently, Vika is in a room with coordinates x, y, and her two friends are in rooms with uh, coordinates from uh, x1 to xk, right, respectively. And the coordinates can coincide. Uh, coincide. Means uh, uh, two coordinates can be same because here coordinates can coincide. Note that all the girls must love must move to neighboring rooms every minute. First, Vika moves uh, to one of its adjacent uh, to the uh, side room of her choice, and then uh, each friend each friend uh, also choose one of the adjacent room to move. At the end of the minute. If uh, at least one friend is uh, in the same room as Vika, she called and all the other friends uh, are called. Tell us, uh, can Vika run away from her annoying friends forever or not? So we have to just return yes, if Vika can run away from her, uh, her friends or no, if not. So let's understand the question deeply. So basically we having, we having two values, n and n, and denote the number of uh, rows in the um, grid and, and denote the number of columns in the mall. So there are n, n cross n rooms in the mall. So let us say there are uh, six, 3 by 3 by uh, mall and there are 9 rooms in the mall. And uh, if uh, let us say Vika is here, right? And uh, he having two friends, he having two friends. So one is here and another is in. Right, so uh, if uh, Vika can go to any other uh, any other vertex, vertex, if the absolute difference between that vertex minus the Vika's current vertex is uh, uh, the sum of the absolute difference is one. So from this, we can say. Uh, from this, we can say uh, that the uh, Vika can either move to its uh, means Vika can only move to all the four directions. Means Vika either Vika can move to uh, can move here or here or any of his friend can move in uh, uh, only the four uh, four possible direction, right? Because this will give uh, the absolute difference of one always. And any other vertex can't give the absolute difference uh, as one. So this is the question. And in this question, uh, Vika is Vika want to run away from his old friend. So uh, we have to tell uh, whether it is possible that Vika can run away or not. So for that, let's take the test cases for more understanding. So let's take the first test case. Right? So it's two comma two. Right? So it's a two comma two grid, and uh, his friends are in. Vika is in one comma one, and his friend in one comma two. So currently Vika is there, and his friend is there. Friend. So he uh, currently has only one friend, the yeah, one comma two. Right? So the possible moves. Let's think out the possible. Moves. If uh, Vika go here, uh, Vika can go either this direction or this direction, right? And his friend is also 
can go either down or to left. Right. So if Vika go down and his friend is also go down, right? So both. Now both Vika is there and his friend is also. Here. So if uh, Vika from here Vika can also either go to this direction or this direction. So if Vika go let us say in this direction, Vika is now here. So his friend is either move to this direction or either move to this direction. So he, uh, you can assume any uh, of the this situation. So if we go here. So from this week, uh, uh, consider that Vika uh, means his friend uh, cannot caught Vika anymore. Means uh, his friend cannot caught Vika. If we try any possible, Vika always uh, go alone, right? So from this, we, uh, this is the observation that uh, this is the scenario, right? Let's take another example. So if we taking this two comma two grid and do this. So this is a two comma two grid. And the beta is one comma one and this two point two point seven one. Right. So so beta is currently here, right? Beta here. and his friend is here. So if Vika moves, Vika can either move to this direction or this direction, right? Let us assume any. First, I assume Vika goes in. So his friend can also move to this uh, and this from the current position. So if Vika moves here, his friend also moves here and caught caught her. So in this uh, case, Vika caught him. So in this case, we have to return no. Because Vika can can't escape from his friend, and if either we, if Vika goes there, his friend also can caught her, also caught her, because he can move to the direction also. So in in this case, we have to return no, also. So let's if we denote the coordinates, this Vika's current coordinate is denoted by one comma one, and his friend's coordinate is denoted by two comma two. If we uh, consider the absolute difference between them, so this gives me a two, a uh, even number, right? And if in this uh, we calculate the absolute difference, this gives me one comma two and one comma one, right? And this gives me a absolute difference of one. This is a odd. So uh, you can also take more examples from you. You can consider if any of any friend of Vika is uh, even distance apart from her, then he can definitely caught her, right? If uh, any friend of Vika is in even direction from her, let us take a three comma three grid and let's prove this. So if so, let us say. We uh, cast position this one comma one, and this is his friend's position, right? So this is we cast, and this is his uh, friend. So if we cast can go here, his friend go this way, right? And we cast can either go to this way or either can go to this way. So his friend definitely caught her, right? If we cast to this path, if we go here, uh, then his friend also. Uh, can go to this way. So from now, Vika either can go to this vertex or this vertex. So in this case, also is when quarter. So from that, you consider that if uh, any of the Vika's friend is even distance apart from Vika, then he can definitely quarter. So in this case, we have to return no. If any of the friend of Vika is even distance apart from Vika, then we have to return no. If all the friends are all distance apart from Vika, then we have to return yes. So this is a quite uh, interesting and uh, observation based question. So let's uh, see the code of this one. Right. So let's take a look on the code. So first of first of all, I take n m n m and k and denote the number of rows and n denote the number of col columns and k denote the number of friends of Vika. 
and uh, I uh, uh, take the fast coordinates, uh, current coordinate x comma y right, and then I make a bool which is uh, which is zero, and then I take k inputs of his friend uh, uh, as x i and y i, and then I calculate the absolute difference of the Vikas position from this uh, from her friend friend's position. So if I found any of the any of the is friend is even distance apart from Vika, then I make this test as one. And then if my test is one, then I have to return no because if any of his friend is uh, any of her friend is, his friend is uh, even distance apart, then he can definitely call her. So in this case, we have to return no. And uh, else yes. So I hope you enjoy this problem. And for more such content and videos. Uh, like and subscribe to DCC and I So thank you.